Check it out, folks. We finna get in that time machine and we finna take it back, right? Hey, listen, this is what my grandparents used to have when they were younger and they grew up with it. Today, we making salmon croquettes, so let's get it. Okay, so as you can see right here, look, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? Garlic, it, I, I mean, we'll go over that. And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below, right? That, there, you know, let me just say it like this. Look down below this video, because a lot of people ask me like, hey, where's the ingredient list? It's in the description box. Now, this is my salmon. What's gonna make this unique is, most people make this out of canned salmon. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it out of fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my veggies. Look, I'm gonna dice this down. And when I dice it, I wanna dice it small. You know, you go small for flavor, big for texture, right? But we gonna go for the look, and we gonna go for the flavor. When it comes to the salmon, I've already removed the skin on this one. I'm gonna show you, you know what we do to remove it, right? I'm using a boning knife. Look, I've already started this right here. You know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run this along the bottom. You know what I mean? And just bring this right here. Listen, this is extremely sharp too, right? And then we just take this all the way through here like this. And then when you peel it back, this is what you get. After getting every, you know, getting the skin off, right? It's up to you guys, listen, you see how I got this little dark? Now look, you guys don't, might not know this, but I'm, I'm a fisherman. Used to catch like a, a lot of barracuda. You know, a lot of people say it's kind of like a trashy fish, but I found a way to, you know, cook it. And what I had to do was it has like a little red, you know, line like this on its own. I just would always just cut that out and then I would like broil it and it would just come out so good, right? I'm just going this extra step, just showing you guys, just in case you guys see it and feel like you want to take it out. Now look, I'm just going to cut this down like this, and just, it just helps what I'm getting ready to do. You can see I got a cleaver right here, right? That ought to tell you right now, I'm finna do the chop chop. So now, I'm gonna take it, and we finna hit it with the ooh wee. So now I just. Okay, so look, when you do it, look, I don't wanna get it like super fine, right? So if I got some pieces that are left over like that, I like to just cut them down, you know, a little bit, get them a little smaller, and then I'm gonna go over it one more time. I don't want to turn this into no type of like soup. Okay, so once you got it, you know, chopped, you just want to put it in a bowl, right? Once you got it all in the bowl, then this is where the magic happens right here. Let me go ahead and get everything cleaned up and then we'll move from there. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Salmon. I'm going to go ahead and add my mayo, right? Now look, notice this. I can tell you guys about how much to put in there. It's really to your taste, right? So I just take a little, you know, a handful and I just sprinkle some of the celery in there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I probably will get all of the bell pepper in there. You know what I mean? This is where I just start as a base and I do the same thing with the onion, right? This is gonna be for the flavor and a little bit of the texture too, right? Now we just come with the rest of our ingredients. Right, and then you know what? I'm finna do this for me. I'm finna load this press, and we finna do, you know what we finna do, folks. You see that right there? Ah, yeah. We gotta have that. And then, you know, we gotta have that seasoning, right? You guys see this right here? Let me get it set up for you. That's that Creole kick. This right here is what takes it and gives it that unique, you know, flavor. You guys can season whatever you would like. And then I don't wanna like over, you know, talk it, but you know, salt and pepper works good too, right? So what I'm doing now is getting my binder, which is my mayo. You want everything to coat because you know you're gonna have to form a patty, right? I'm giving a pre-mix before I go ahead and add in my breadcrumbs. You know, I just want to look and see where we at because it depends on how much salmon, salmon that I have. You know, do I need to add a little bit more? But I'm liking this right here, right? So now I come with my breadcrumbs. I like to put in half at first, you know, work it in and then I'll put in the remainder. All right, so look, now what we want to do is we want to bring our temp, our, uh, I'm using extra virgin olive oil. I want to bring that up to temp, right? So put a little fire underneath my uh, cast iron, right? And I'm going to show you guys a little trick. And that trick is, check this out. I put a little panko down here, right? That's fine. That's good, just like that, right? And I'm gonna take a little bit of this Creole kick just to add that down there because we're gonna lose some of the panko, right? 
So when I form these balls and I put them down right there, it make it easier for them to come off of the pot. I mean, off of the plate. You guys can, I guess, add some oil to it or whatever, but I like to do that because the paint gonna form a nice little crust too when I put it inside. Stay tuned. I just showed you a little trick. Like I said, you guys can like wipe it, you know, with a little oil or whatever. You know what I mean? Now listen, if this is like a little bit more on the wet side for you, you know what I mean? You can always add a little bit more breadcrumb to it, right? So I just form a ball and what I do is I just put it like right there, right? You want to keep them all about the same size if you're going to do multiple at a time, right? That way they can all cook at the same time, right? So I can feel, you know, some of my uh, veggies in here. That's what I like. They'll soften up as we, you know, put them into the skillet. But meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and just make some of these. My mouth is already watering, folks. All right, so I got my, my pan. Let's see, it looks like it appears to be nice. You know what I mean? We're starting to catch a little smoke, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna smash these down just like this. Uh, let's go ahead and use a better term than smash. I'm gonna pat these down. You know what I mean? We just pat them like this. And they should spread down on the bottom, you know, fine. And if you want to, you can get something to pick them up. I'm just testing these to see how, how they are gonna stay together. Right, so now I'll go ahead and just grab one of these like this, and then I'm just gonna set them inside. You know what I mean? So we just flip them like that. Right? That little crust right there, that's what you want. Okay, so look, I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use my fish one. I like using my fish spatula because it allows it, all of the grease to, you know, sort of like, you know, just like drip down. As you can see, I got myself a paper line, you know, paper, uh, paper plate. And I just put them here so we can absorb just the rest. But again, now you can see it up against this white. Look at the color. That's what you want. And you hear that? That's what you wanna have. Okay, folks, look, after looking at that, tell me what you guys think. Your brain gotta be working, sending that signal to your mouth. Your mouth should be like super watery right now, right? So, really, when I say let's go back to that time machine, I'm thinking of something like this. Like, you know, this is something that my grandparents always talked about that they had. I grew up with it, and you know what? I cannot find K Row syrup. How many of you guys you remember having a, a salmon, excuse me, salmon croquettes, you know what I mean, with the K Row syrup? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of these in front of you just so that I can tease everybody. Look, this is what I'm using. This maple syrup right here. I just found this brand. Look, I went out and bought me a, a, quite a few of these. I don't never want to be without it. Uh, I'm not getting nothing from this company right here, but listen, this right here got a unique maple, you know, uh, taste to it and it's fire. You know what I mean? Uh, so look, I'm finna do that. Look at that right there, folks. Ooh, wee. Ooh, cheers. Mm. Ooh. Hey, I'm gonna be real with you. If you ain't never had no salmon, cro salmon cro uh, croquette or any type of fish croquette, you're doing yourself an injust injustice, right? And then this right here, or your favorite maple syrup, look, they go hand in hand. Like I said before, it's the k roll that did it for me, but now that I done found this, I'm in love. Now, with that being said, listen, we can talk about everything down in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take the time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Oh, yeah, and I'm taking you down in that time machine. Guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.